Jackson Yi, real name Yi Yang Qi An Shi, a Chinese idol and actor, has issued a clarification regarding allegations that he cheated the selection process to enter the Chinese National Theater. After much deliberation, the member of the TF Boys boy group who is known as an actor after starring in the film Better Days also announced his retirement. Jackson Yi, Luo Yizhou, and Hu Shenshu, who had been accepted into the China National Theater, had previously been interrogated on suspicion of illegally obtaining their positions. Following this news, the National Theater side issued a statement on Saturday, July 16, 2022, regarding the recruitment of new 2022 graduates. According to Sohu Entertainment News, all qualified candidates met the non-holder requirements and took part in three rounds of examinations. This hiring procedure follows the principles of openness, equality, competition, and a meritocracy. The recruitment announcement procedure is strictly followed. The National Theatre also revealed that none of the ten potential recruits discovered had a working relationship with any unit during their schooling period, and that none of them paid for social insurance. This is in accordance with the laws and regulations governing the selection of non-employee workers. The China National Theater entrance exam is divided into three stages. From April 14 to 16, 2022, the first exam will be held online. There were 223 people who took part in the event. The second and third exams were originally scheduled to be held offline. However, due to the pandemic's impact, both have been changed to online and offline. The second exam, which took place from April 24 to 25, 2022, had 52 participants. 22 of them are online, while the remaining 30 are not. Meanwhile, 20 people took part in the third exam, which was held on May 2, 2022. The exam was taken online by 9 participants and offline by 11 others. The final 10 candidates, including Jackson Yi, were subjected to three rounds of testing in accordance with applicable procedures and requirements. During the examination period, none of the 10 selected candidates were absent. However, due to the numerous controversies surrounding Jackson Yi's acceptance at the China National Theater, on July 17, 2022, he posted a clarification on Weibo. Jackson Yi's first words were a heartfelt apology to everyone who had cared for, supported, or criticized him. He explained why he was late in making his statement. He is unable to personally describe the evolution and impact of this issue. He is not in a position to provide clarification until the National Theater's official explanation is released. He had no intention of making an excuse or delaying anything. Many Chinese opera students, including recent graduate Jackson Yi, aspire to be accepted into the National Theater. He told his teachers and colleagues before graduation that he was eager to join the National Theater for further development and exploration. Jackson Yi, as a member of the younger generation, wishes to continue exploring his potential. To be honest, he was surprised that a child who was nervous and shy in front of the camera could become an actor and play so many different roles. Because of everyone's preferences, he was able to grow to where he is now. So all he wanted to do was his best. Jackson Yi applied for admission to the China National Theater with this goal in mind. Throughout the examination process, he fully complies with all recruitment notices and examination requirements. It has gone through three stages of testing. Due to the severe pandemic situation in Beijing at the time, Jackson Yi conducted an online exam in the third exam, adhering to existing pandemic prevention and control measures. During this time, he never negotiated or discussed shortcuts with the national theater teachers. He also did not use such methods to gain his position. Many rumors circulated during Jackson Yi's silence, giving the impression that he had lost his humanity. This kind of distortion bothered him as a public figure and as an individual. 
This rumor also involved Jackson Yee's family and caused him to experience fear that he had never experienced before. He has always hoped to have a positive impact on others since entering the entertainment industry. But this time, he made people feel offended and dissatisfied. This also influenced his desire for the National Theatre. Jackson Yee decided to resign from the National Theatre after careful consideration in order not to add to the trouble for everyone. However, if given the chance, he will continue to strive to improve himself in the field of drama. Jackson Yee apologized at the end of his statement to those who were emotionally hurt by the incident, as well as those who believed in him.